What's cooking everybody? It's Dor and in today's video we will be covering everything related to derelict freighters. How to find them, what to expect and what you can earn by completing them. Now if you like this kind of content make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to see future No Man's Sky content. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. There are multiple ways of finding derelict freighters. The most inconsistent and luck based method would be to just pulse around and wait until you get the message that an object of interest has appeared and pray that it is in fact a derelict freighter and not a, well, a trader. Another is to shoot asteroids in the hope of them dropping an anomaly detector. Just use the item and start pulsing. The anomaly detector will force a random encounter to spawn and will notify you when it does. Do note that this isn't per se a direct freighter and could be any other random space encounter as well. Just my luck. The third and most consistent way is to buy an emergency broadcast receiver from the scrap dealer at the space station. The price for the first one will be 5 million, the second will be 10 million, the third 20 and every next one will be 30 million. These prices do reset every day, so if you don't have the money you could wait a day and pick another one up for just 5 million. It is also worth noting that after you have completed your first derelict freighter, you can get an emergency broadcast receiver for free once a week from Iteration Helios at the Anomaly. Just use the emergency broadcast receiver and start pulsing until you get the message that an emergency broadcast is detected. When you arrive at the derelict freighter you will have to open the airlock using this terminal right here. Do make sure to check the box next to it as this will drop a guaranteed 3 repair kits and some sodium and oxygen. These will be needed to recharge your life support systems as derelict freighters are cold and will slowly damage you. Also keep your eye out for these small containers floating around which contain oxygen, sodium, ferrite and condensed carbon as well as these heaters, as they will provide a zone where you can recharge your life support systems. Derelict freighters consist of 7 to 12 rooms, excluding dead end rooms, which are marked with a circle above the door. Make sure to check these out before continuing to the next room, as there might be loot inside. In these rooms you can encounter a range of enemies and loot, as well as logs from the crew. Some of these are just there to add some story as to why the freighter was abandoned, while others will give you a security credentials needed to receive the captain's logs. I would recommend to use your scanner a lot as it will highlight these missable objects. On average, a direct freighter will give you anywhere between 2 to 6 million units and 1500 to 4000 nanites in form of materials. You can also earn base building parts and obtain quite some living slime by opening containers and shooting festering pustules, which can be refined at a 5 to 1 ratio to nanites as well. The main objective and reward lies within these three terminals. The first terminal will grant you a crew manifest, the second will grant you the captain's logs, if of course you found the earlier mentioned security credentials, and the third terminal will let you pick one of the following three rewards. A salvage fleet unit, which is a random upgrade module for your freighter that boosts your frigate missions. A cargo bulkhead, which allows you to add a slot to your freighter's general or tech inventory. Nanites, anywhere between 500 to 600 nanites, which is fairly low if you ask me. Once you are done, you can use the teleporter to head back to the beginning to easily reach your ship. Fly towards the space station, as you can sell the crew manifest, as well as the captain's logs, for either an increase in standing with the system's primary faction, or for some extra nanites. It is also worth mentioning that the quality of drops throughout the derelict freighter are consistent within that system. So if you found a nice and easy one dropping S-Class upgrades, you can do it again and the quality of the item will not change, though it can drop something else. And that's about everything you need to know about derelict freighters. Is there anything I missed or do you have any tips or tricks? Let us know in the comments down below. 
Thank you so much for making it this far into the video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. If you really did, please subscribe. And if not, well, I hope I get to convince you in the next video.